So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Oh, I just love a Tuesday night game under the floodlights. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one, we're off to the Hive. It's Barnet for the Aldershot Tan in the Vanarama National League. So how long did we have to wait until we finally got the deal over the line? Harry Taylor has signed a new deal. Why does everyone look so fucking miserable when they sign a new deal? Don't they know? We've got the best chairman in the land. Or maybe our new number nine would look a bit more enthusiastic. Now the deal is done. Alfie Pavey joins from Dover Athletic. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get into football. No! So Aldershot finished 21st and survived relegation where they played 46 times, winning 11, drawing 11, losing 24, scoring 38, conceding 67, giving them a goal difference of minus 29 and ended on 44 points. They currently sit 20th and in the last five games have been two wins, one draw and two losses. <laughs> Danny Sell joined Aldershot on the 20th of May 2019, where he's only taken 10 games. He's won three, he's drew two, and he's lost five. That gives him a win percentage of 30%. <laughs> Number 20, Ethan Chislett, who has three goals in 10 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit. Here we go again. The 26th of the 3rd, 2019. Barnet 2, Aldershot Town 0. Mason Clark and Shaq with our goals. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points and then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Aldershot Town. You should be in the National League, sir. After your embarrassing display of football last season. But because you've done an Harry Red Nap. Nice one. You've somehow managed to stay in this league, you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet! Starting 11 for Barnet in the 4 2 3 1. Loach in between the sticks, your back four of. Shay Alexander at right back. Dan Sparks at left back. Your two centre halves, Captain Cannon Reynolds and Ricardo Santos. Two centre midfielders, Jack Taylor and Charlie Adams. The three in the advanced midfield role. Simon Akinoda on the wide left. Mason Clark on the wide right. And Wesley Fonguk in the number 10 role. And Josh Walker up front. And this is our order shot town lineup for tonight. 20 minutes in, it's still 0 0. First 10 minutes was fast paced by both sides. Kept the ball quite well, moving it around. Both like that final ball gave it away sloppily the other 10 slow now both teams are slowed down it just seems like whoever's got the possession keep the ball and wait for gaps to open up and then make the move half hour in still nil nil we've had our first shot on target but we had a double shot Mason Clark plays through Fong Gu who has a first time shot the keeper saves with his legs a little bit more build up played it back in again Wesley has another shot and the keeper pushes wide for the last 10 minutes it's been our usual game all the build up get to the edge of the box run out of ideas because no one wants to have a shot 5 to half it's still Nil nil. Not much has changed. We're controlling a lot of the possession. We're driving forward. We just don't know what to do with it. We're doing far too many wasteful long balls. Aldershot haven't really offered a threat apart from the first ten minutes. Half time here at the Hive. It's Barnet's nil. It's Aldershot Town nil. Uh, the first ten minutes was quite fast paced from both sides. Then it went a little bit flat. We we're holding on to possession quite well, waiting for our moments. We're just waiting for gaps to open up. We're just trying to play long ball too much. The first half was summed up by someone behind me shouting out, "Hurry up, ref! I've had enough of this half. I'm just going to leave it there. It's 45 minutes to go. Come on, Barnet." We've only 
had a shot and fucking scored. Two minutes into the second half, Barnett won, all the shots and nil. Charlie Adams breaks up play, plays a nice ball through to Mason Clark. He's running about 30 yards, driving at him, has a crack, top corner, one nil. Come on. Fifty-five minutes in, it's Barnet two. It's all shot tan nil. Like, we are so going to piss this tin pot league. So it looks like when we have a shot, we can actually score. We get a free kick. We whip it in. They clear it. It lands to Fongu on the edge of the area. Everyone's screaming, shoot! He's gone. Fuck it! I'll dip my shoulder and have a crack. Top corner. Keep. I'll pick that one out. Sunshine. Into the last twenty, we still lead two nil. We've had a massive let off where all the shots should have punished us. Kaniatu should pulled one back, but he's fluffed his lines in a box and he just shot wide. Big 20 minutes now, this is going to be our test. Yeah. Yeah. Wesley Fongbooks just hit the bar. Into the last 10, we still lead 2 0. All the shot have piled on a bit of pressure now. About seven minutes to go, we still lead 2 0. All the shot, I, I, I don't even know how to explain this. All the shot play a long ball in. Shay, he's got no one around him. He's tried to knock it back to Loach. He's not got enough on it. Mullins is running through. He's missed the shot. I don't know how he's done that. The Lionel's flag for offside. How can he be offside if we've played him through? But I don't get that. Into the 90th, and they just added on four minutes. We still lead 2 0. But the last 20 minutes, all the shot have piled on pressure. So the game finished, Barnet 2, all the shots hand, nil. And the old famous football manager cliche saying has to be brought out. It was a game of two halves. It was a fast paced 10 minutes by both sides. Then 20 minutes in, it went flat. All the shots sat back a bit. We had all the possession. Nice, pretty football, but far too many long balls. We managed to get a first shot off on target after half hour, but it was the same thing again. Loads of possession, nice football, get to the edge of the bulge and just run out of ideas and don't know what to do with it. And we've obviously identified what we need to do. We identified the problems. And that's when new boy Alfie Pavey comes on, makes his debut. And within two minutes, he's dragged two players wide. Ephraim Mason Clark says, thank you very much. I'm going to have a crack. Top corner. And then we wind it up. Bang, have some of that. And in 10 minutes later, we're tuning it up after Fongook. Stick it in fifth gear, Barnet. We'll go cruise control till the 90th minute right about now. All the shot didn't trouble us enough to worry about things. They piled on the pressure in the last 20 minutes. We managed to deal with it. There was a couple of nervy moments, but it's three wins on the bounce. Last couple of seasons, how many times have you heard me say, if we didn't have bad luck, we'd have no no luck. Things might be changing in our favour and it's about fucking time and all. So this time last season, 10 games in, we had 17 points. Now, we've got 19. As Tesco's would say, Give a little help. So let's see if we can go for four on the bounce away this Saturday to Halifax Town. Let's keep this going, Barnet. You lot know what to do. Tala. <laughs>